hello everyone and welcome back to Flo's corner so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make candied pineapples so please stay tuned so just a quick disclaimer these are made for me and my family's consumption the last candied pineapples tutorial that i made i got a lot of backlash because i had on nails of course if i was making this for a customer i would be wearing gloves so please don't come for me y'all so the star of the show are going to be the pineapples you can use canned or you can use fresh either or I purchased these cute little cans from my local Dollar General. Always get the ones that say 100% juice and not in syrup. So each of these little cans actually contain four pineapples in them. I like to pour the juice into a cup because I'll, my kids love to drink the pineapple juice. And we don't waste over here, okay? So here I'm gonna remove them from the can and I'm gonna place it on my silicone mat. You can also use parchment paper if you would like, but I find that the silicone mat actually is easier to clean off better than it getting soaked through the parchment paper. Now you're going to take some paper towel and you are going to dab the pineapples dry. You are going to remove as much of the moisture and juice that is inside of the pineapples as much as possible. You can use this method that I'm doing here, but you're going to have to turn the uh, pineapple to the other side so that you can get the other side completely dry as well. I will also show you a second method that you can use, whichever works best for you. Now here is the second method that you can also use. You take one paper towel folded in half and take another paper towel and fold that in half and then you're going to place the pineapple in the middle of it and you are just going to squeeze do not over squeeze where you're trying to flatten the pineapple you just want to squeeze just enough where you feel that the juice is actually coming out of the pineapple you will notice the difference when the juice is out of the pineapple it'll have a different look and it'll also have a different feel to it but that's exactly what we want just place it on a tin lined with parchment paper and now I like to take some skewers and insert it through the pineapple. You're going to insert from the bottom and then you're going to push it all the way through until the top. I prefer using skewers because I like the full coverage without the line in the middle. Normally that you get when you are dipping the pineapple halfway, letting the candy dry and then dipping the other half. I'll admit I do that method as well depending on the way that I feel but honestly it is really up to you how you want to do it. Also the skewer for me actually gives a little bit more grip and if you are afraid of getting burned by the candy mixture the skewer will give you just a little bit more added protection. Now that all of the pineapples have the skewers on and now you're going to place in the freezer. I like to freeze for up to six hours. Now we're gonna get started on our candy mixture. You wanna take two cups of sugar, place it in a pot. Now you're gonna add a half a cup of water and a quarter cup of light Cairo corn syrup. Make sure to give it a good stir so that all of the sugar is incorporated into the liquid ingredients. Now with any candy mixture, you need to invest in a candy thermometer. This one is very inexpensive and I purchased it at my local Walmart. Place it on the side of your pot just to make sure that the tip is not touching the bottom of the pot to give you a false reading. Turn your stove on medium and let the mixture start boiling. This is what it looks like 5 minutes in. This is what it looks like 10 minutes in. And here we are getting ready to hit 250 degrees. That is my ideal temperature that I like to add my color and my flavoring. Here I'm going to be using orange with some whitener and peach flavoring. So I like to use half of the bottle of flavoring. I feel that that's just enough. And then I'm gonna take the tip of my spoon just like I did in my candy grape videos and I'm gonna add the color in by just mixing it in just slightly. I was going for a light peachy color so I only added a little bit of the whitener. You do not need to stir the mixture because while it is bubbling, it will actually incorporate the color itself. So here we are approaching 300 degrees and now I'm going to remove the mixture from the stove. So here we are. I'm going to take my frozen pineapple and I'm going to dip it into the mixture. You see you get full coverage when you use the skewer. You're going to shake off the excess. You really do have to work fast because you don't want your mixture to start hardening up. Right after you dip it, you're going to place it onto your silicone mat and then you're going to remove the skewer. 
Then I like to take the skewer and just rub it around in the middle just to get rid of the excess candy in the middle of the pineapple. And then you're gonna do the same for the remainder. Do not fret that you're not a pro at dipping pineapples. When I first started, my candy used to harden up. I was very slow, so I used to take one pineapple out of the freezer one at a time. So you just have to find your method that works for you and you'll have it down packed in no time. Practice is always key, so don't give up on yourself because they are still delicious even when they don't look all that great and are all messed up. So don't even fret, honey. But these peachy flavored pineapples were so bomb, y'all. I hope that you found this tutorial to be very helpful and when trying to make candy pineapples. I thank you all for tuning in. Please give this video a like and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>